Hello everyone, my name is Fu Yu Li, a Ryan Senior Major in Computer Science at the University of Michigan. I'm happy to present my work this summer in the Carnegie Mellon University Robotics Institute Summer Scholars Program, a device by Professor Katia Staro. My work is on understanding human activities in search and rescue tasks. In our search and rescue tasks, such as rescuers trying to save as many victims as possible in a building damaged during an earthquake in limited time, structural perambulations in the building and victims with varying degrees of injury induce preconditions for triage. While human rescuers may fail to recognize appropriate activity sequence required to complete a task, an AI agent that observes, predicts, and interests into their activities can help them improve performance. Previous efforts have enabled agents to predict risk-cures navigation and triage strategies separately, but they never um, handle them together in activity sequences. In this work, we propose steps towards building an AI agent assisting risk-cures in performing tasks efficiently. We capture high-level activities in USAR tasks by modeling risk cures and hierarchical reinforcement learning agents. We learn a transferable strategy module by training an expert agent with portable options. We utilize LSTM networks to predict risk cures high-level strategy at each time step. This can be further used to provide intervention to risk cures by recommending options. Hierarchical reinforcement learning provides methods to train agents to learn high-level policy and optimally choose subtasks and high-level actions to execute. In this work, we train an expert agent of two-level hierarchy to learn the optimal master strategy of portable options as knowledge of assist agent. As illustrated here, we design the rule-based options for the agent and learn master policy from data to serve as knowledge of the AI assistant, assistant and rescuers. Importantly, we follow the work building portable options, skill transfer in reinforcement learning to train the options in both problem space and agent space to increase the transferability of the master policy. To predict options of rescuers that are constantly learning from a device given by the AI agent. We we'll utilize long short term memory networks. It is a special kind of RNN capable of learning both long term and short term dependencies. For any rescuer, the AI assistant observes the state it encounters and the options it takes. Using these observations as training data, the assistant trains an LSTM to predict rescuer's activity at each time step. We conducted the experiments in a four-room environment containing randomly placed balls to represent weekends. Each locked door will be open only if the switch of the same color be toggled. In each episode, the agent will be initialized at a random location in the top left room. There are four actions, forward, to left, to right, and toggle. The agent has three kinds of options. The first is navigating to a room. The second is going to a switch and toggle it, and the last is triage or weekend. The corresponding initialization conditions and termination conditions are shown here. To extract expert strategy of activities, we train a fully observable agent using deep Q network with experience replay and fixed Q targets. The agent is trained for 5,000 episodes and evaluated for 1,000 episodes. The average number of options the agent takes in each episode of three rounds during the evaluation are 10, which is fair to be considered as optimal. To collect data for option predictions, we simulate various artificial rescuers. Their learning curves are shown here. We use the data of them from episode 2000 to episode 5000 and report the average prediction accuracy across three rescuers. SVM and MLP are served as baselines. The best model we get so far is LSTM with accuracy 
We will try to improve the prediction accuracy further. In the future, we plan to do the intervention as follows. The assistant competes a device option using a transferable strategy module at each time step and giving advice to rescuers by extending the predictive advising framework proposed in the reinforcement learning agents providing advice in complex video games. Also, we will try to extend the work to multi-agent settings and more complicated environments. Lastly, I'd like to thank Rachel, John, and Jenny, and all of Carnegie Mellon University's research program. I also want to thank my mentors, Professor Katia, Dr. Dana, and Sophie Yue Guo. Thank you for listening. <laughs>